And that breaking news, a suspect has been identified in the high-profile killings of a couple, their young son, and their housekeeper. The murders happened Thursday at a mansion in northwest Washington. And right now, there is a manhunt for Darren Wint. Police believe he is the killer. Tom Rousey, now live in northwest Washington. Tom, what can you tell us? Yeah, Leon, all this just coming in within the last half hour. Here are pictures of that suspect just announced in this quadruple homicide. He is 34-year-old Darren Dillon Wint. He is wanted, according to D.C. police, on a warrant for murder one while armed. Now, we've been doing a little digging on him in the last half hour. We've learned he's been arrested on lesser crimes in the past in the state of Maryland, a series of lesser crimes over the last nine years or so. His listed address, at least the most recent one we could find, is Lanham in Prince George's County. Again, Darren Dillon went being named as a suspect in this quadruple homicide that happened nearly a week ago. Also new developments today, we talked to the husband of one of the four people who died in that fire. On day seven of the investigation, police were still removing evidence from the home. Sources tell ABC News that the morning of the fire, as the Savopoulos family and their housekeeper were being held captive, an assistant of Sava Savopoulos dropped off $40,000 at the home. Sources say something was already wrong the night before, and sometime that night, this Tenleytown Domino's delivered pizza to the home. I never crossed to my mind that I was going to fall in love with her. Bernardo Alfaro married slain housekeeper Vera Figueroa in the U.S. after meeting her years ago in El Salvador. He says he grew increasingly worried last Wednesday night when she didn't come home. He finally went to the home Thursday morning. My feeling was that somebody was inside. And they didn't want to open the door. He says a blue Porsche that was later burned was parked on the street. And while he was still there, Savas called him, saying Vera had to go with Amy Savopoulos to the hospital. So Alfaro went home and again heard nothing. And I was like a crazy going outside to see if I, if I had to call him. <laughs> Hours after the fire, he was told the news. There were four bodies in the house, including her. And back out here live, you see police on scene at the home tonight. I can tell you we've seen a lot more activity tonight than we have other nights at this time out here. By the way, we mentioned the Domino's Pizza being delivered to this home in the story right there. The Washington Post is reporting tonight that police were able to identify Wint as a suspect by matching his DNA to DNA found on the crust of one of the pizzas that was delivered here a week ago tonight. And again, it was a week ago tomorrow that this fire broke out in the afternoon. Reporting live tonight in Northwest, I'm Tom Rousey, ABC7 News. All right, absolutely amazing. Thank you, Tom. Now, folks, we want to show you this man's picture once again. This is Darren Wint. Police believe he's responsible for the deaths of four people in a Northwest Washington mansion. If you know where he is, call 911 right away. Stay with ABC7 and WJLA.com for up-to-the-minute information about this breaking news story. Allison. Now, Leon.